Okay, so if you are interested in having a vertical navigation, this would be the screencast to watch. If you did take a few moments and look at the horizontal navigation, then some of the windows that pop up in organizing those pages will look the same to you. If you have not, then no worries. I will walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to do that. So before we go too much farther, I want to um, just impress upon you that we can't organize pages that don't exist. So once you have created the page or pages that, that you would like, you would go ahead and name it, decide what kind of template you wanted, whether it be web page, file cabinet, that kind of thing. I wouldn't worry about this too much yet because you can, um, you can go through and organize things after you have stuff. You don't necessarily always need to know exactly where you want it. You want to know the process of how to move stuff around. So I always put it at the top level. And then if you want to organize things later, it's really very easy uh, to do that. So um, that would be how you would create those pages as we talked about before. And the uh, internet is working really, really slowly tonight for some reason. It's a little after six, so we'll see how things go. But um, first, you want to go down to Edit Site Layout, and you want to make sure that your sidebar, if the sidebar uh, isn't selected, there's, there isn't going to be anything there. You select the sidebar just like you did for horizontal navigation if you were interested in that and then it will pop up. You'll notice that there's a pencil there and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. I'm more interested right now in the plus sign. The plus sign is going to allow you to add the very first link is navigation and we'll talk about the other links or other things that you can add there on the side in just a little bit. You can see this is highlighting blue as I'm talking to you and dragging my cursor. This is how we edited our site header and put in a custom site header if you did that. So here you can see navigation popped up. You can see that it's light blue, so it is in editing mode, uh, and that is how you would click on um, the um, navigation. You would open that up, and this is the window that's going to look familiar to you if you were doing the horizontal navigation. This is the same window, just in a different way to, to get things um, to pop up on that side. You're hitting Add Page. And I always go to my recent changes and I did a bunch of different um, pages that were here just to show you. I'm going to add, oh, we'll add several. So I've got test page one, I have recipes, I have fun stuff. Okay, so I've got a few enough here to give you an idea of what we have. Okay, so let's say that we've got, we have that. These um, arrows become important in that you're selecting pages to show in the vertical navigation. With them being aligned to the left like this, they're all on the top level. They're all the equivalent of being um, important um, and the top level of organization. If I were to hit the arrow that would indent it to the right, then that would then organize the book club page under the fun stuff page. So it would be a sub page of a main page, if that makes sense. So once you do that, then you are by nature organizing, organizing things. And if you change your mind, you can move it back. You know, you can move things in and out. You can move things up and down with the arrows, that kind of thing. And if you decided, no, you didn't want a page, then you could uh, delete it. So it is possible to have both horizontal and sidebar navigation in that you can choose pages that are available across the top horizontally. You can choose pages that are only available vertically in your sidebar. So once you do that, your navigation <coughs> excuse me, will pop up and those pages will be there for you. So uh, the sidebar pencil, if you were to open that up, decides you have the um, decision to make if you would like your sidebar on the left, on the right, and then you can change the width of that sidebar to be more prominent or less prominent. Um, it is set at the default of 150 pixels, but depending on how you wanted it to look, it, you could increase or decrease that kind of thing. Okay, so one quick thing that I wanted to show you. So now we have our home uh, home page navigation here, the sidebar on, on the left-hand side. You could go back to manage site 
and down to themes, colors, and fonts, go down to sidebar gadgets, and then all of a sudden you can change, I can customize the color that I want my side navigation to be. You can see it then turns red according to the color that I've chosen. Um, the selected text, the text that you choose can be a different color. You can have a line divider among things and then change the color, that kind of thing, so that it's customizable um, to how you would like it to, to be viewed. So one other thing that I would like to highlight with the uh, sidebar, and we're going to go, we're in not no longer in editing mode, so I'm going to go to edit site layout. And I am going to click the plus sign again. I want to show you what else is here. You can create uh, text to your site's sidebar. You can have something that shows the recent um, activity to a site. I could have a countdown, which is always kind of fun. I don't have one on my site, but it can be kind of fun. You open it up and you say something along the lines of um, my next Disney trip so and then I can select my date so there's my sidebar oh that's kind of a depressing number but it's coming up okay so there's your countdown uh, and if you check out your sidebar, in addition to that, you can have something that lists your site owners, your page authors, things like that, all by clicking add in, uh, in the sidebar menu that opens up there. So we're still in editing mode, so I'm going to click close. So you have uh, the choice of horizontal or vertical navigation. I showed you how to do the vertical navigation. I showed you how to add some different things here along the sidebar. So go ahead and practice with your um, sidebar and your vertical navigation.